Oh, man, have you called customer service for anything these days? I love how they go on and on about the service industry and how the service industry is exploding. There may be an industry, but there's no service. There's just a number you can phone. That, and first of all, every answering machine system in the world now has been infected with this answering machine virus. It's gotten, no matter who you call, they're, they're no longer away from the desk. They're no longer too busy to take. They're experiencing, say it with me now, you've heard it a thousand times, a higher than normal volume of calls. <laughs> Normally, we'd just be on the phone right away. We'd be right to you, but right now, it's a special situation. It's higher than normal. Normally, we'd be right there for you, but it's higher than normal. We're not used to this. There's so much. This is higher than normal. We're not. We can't. <laughs> And it doesn't matter when you phone. You, you like 24/7, higher than normal, higher than normal, higher. Than, you could set your alarm four in the morning, wake up, bleep, 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 higher than normal. <laughs> well, guess what? If it's always higher than normal, that's not higher than normal. That's normal. <laughs> oh, it makes me crazy. It doesn't matter who you call either. You could call the phone company. The phone company is experiencing. A higher than normal volume of call. Well, how can that even be? You're the phone company. You have all the phones, all the lines, all the equipment, all the satellites. I have no satellites. I have one phone. My normal volume of calls is one. But right now, I'm waiting for you. If someone else calls me right now, I'll be over my normal volume of calls. You know, because I'm getting older, and uh, I, I don't want to be all sappy about it, but I find as I'm getting older, I'm starting to ask myself certain questions that maybe you don't think about when you're younger, but as you get older, you feel the need to, you know, why am I here? <laughs> Not in a spiritual sense, just standing in the basement. Why am I here? What did I come down here for? I was, I was up and I was doing a thing and I needed a something and I came down and I was... Are you like me? You're lazy. You don't want to go all the way back up so you put your foot on the first step of the landing, right? Maybe I left the idea lit because I jogged downstairs. The idea might have fell out of my head if I just... I might pick it up somewhere on there. Maybe if I just rub my head and build up static electricity, I could build that and suck that back into my brain with it. I know we have some Americans here. We, there's some Americans, yeah. Before you leave Americans, you may want to pick up some protective clothing, something with a nice big maple leaf on it that you can wear <laughs> when you're traveling, huh? Oh, yeah. I think we have a great flag. I love our flag. But what I love about the Canadian flag most is it, you know, it's not just a flag. It's an idea. It stands for something. It sends a message. You know, other people see the Canadian flag in the world and it says something. It says, uh, low hostage value. <laughs> you won't even get the government on the phone, buddy. I'm telling you, you'd be dialing and dialing and dialing. I'm a citizen. I can't get them on the phone. What do you think you're going to do? You want to negotiate in English or French, for starters. Hey, you got to know. They could be having a higher than normal volume of hostage taking. And anyway. Hey, Montreal, it is so great to be back. Thank you very much. Uh